what's going on everyone? It's me, yeah boy, Alex the Rambler, and today we're on Hearts of Iron 4 Red Flood. This seems to be an increasingly popular mod over on the Steam Workshop, so I thought I'd give it a little check out a Rooney. Now, if you're wondering why you aren't seeing my gorgeous, gorgeous face, it's because I'm, I'm a little bit under the weather since Paradox Con, so uh, I'm, I, I'll be back in a webcam with terrible lighting near you soon, but for now, you just get this sultry, sultry voice. Ooh, yes. So, what is Red Flood all about? Red Flood is a Hearts of Iron 4 mod loosely based on the scenario of in a world where no side won the piece following WW1. The mod takes place in 1936 with a futurist regime in France, a socialist Germany in a broken up Russia, and a collapsing British Empire. What? Okay, okay, I, uh, uh, the failing British Empire, I've never heard of something so ridiculous. The world went from dark to darker in the last decade with the collapse of the Western Front, the Russian civil conflict, and the revolutions that swept most of Europe to radicalism. It seems as if the idea of the liberalism fought so dearly for in the First World Conflict amounted a little in the face of the futurists and councillists. What the frick are all these frickin' things? I don't know what's- Oh my giddly goo. Following the Great War, the Austro-Hungarian Empire collapsed and Austria found herself the sole remnant of the Habsburg crown. Ah. So somehow, France is still around. That's odd, isn't it? Who the heck is this smiley fella? It's Ivano Bonimi! The Kingdom of Italy is probably the greatest victor, but its gains have carried heavy costs. Well, shall we take a little look at the map? And Wait, the Russian Empire still exists. Ah, yes. But it's in a bit of a bit of a state. Uh, then, oh, the Kingdom of Italy, that they do actually have a fair amount of territory now. Is that a little... Ooh. Oh, look at this, everyone. The Channel Islands now exist. This mod is already a 10 out of 10. And look, the United Kingdom Trump controls a bit of France too. Oh, oh. But shall we give it a go as the German Socialist Republic? I think we shall. After the revolution of 1918 and following the civil conflict, Germany was isolated. Oh, I forgot to say, we have the, the backward south, oh dear, that's Bavaria, uh, forced isolation, ah, and the spectre of communism. Ooh. The mandate of the councils, the Wilt Congress der Internationale, and the Neue Deutsche Socialismus. Right. So, of course, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more hoy. Uh, do you know what? 5,000 likes once again. That's, that's, the, that's the standard. You want more? Leave a leak. And if you've played this mod, why not let me know what you think of it? Here we go. The Reich's Congress is the most important political power in Germany. Well, we'll have the Congress. But look, there's Russia. There's Prussia. It's Russia, Prussia. What do we have? Oh, we're in a faction. <gasps> we're the Third International. Yes, we are. Holy moly. Righto. I think we've got everything set up, apart from a few spare military factories. And we will begin this grand scenario of Red Flood. I have no idea what happens. I haven't played through this mod before. We'll just see how it goes, shall we? Oh, and the first thing is to lose political power. Brilliant. Baldness should not mean you get negative political power. Okay, well, for someone who knows absolutely none of the lore, let's have Comrade Anna Shrugas is highly educated, ambitious, and dedicated to the revolution. Although he's still around, so I don't... I thought you were retiring. Are you not retiring? Gobbles announces his victory. Okay, so we've got an end map victory. Fine. Joseph Gobbles becomes leader of the Vanguard Socialist. Well, I may have made a massive mistake here. I guess I'm le- Oh god, that's a cursed portrait. Oh no, no thank you. Oh. Uh. Right, well, um, I hope I'm gonna try and not look at that for the rest of the- Jeez. Let's discuss the Bavarian question. What to do with you, wherever you... I think you're all down here, aren't you? It's all Bavaria. It's all Bavaria. Oh. Do you know what? Um, I'm, I'm not going to have any violence. Yeah. I'll increase my stability by doing nothing. Time to spread the revolution. I'm going to go full on conquest mode, I think, and see how that takes us. I still don't know what avant-garde French is, France is doing. It, it seems like a bit of a, a bit of a baffling one. How do they own Calais? 
that's that's what confuses me. How does the UK somehow have control of Calais? I'm not complaining, but it's just uh, so maybe the fortress has held for 500 years. Oh, it oh okay. Well, I have no idea what's going on here, but it appears Austria is in a mess. Hey, hey, hey pan-Germanism. The unity of all Germanic peoples is the first and foremost concern of our country. I agree. Gimme, gimme, gimme a man. I mean, Germany. Oh, we can already declare war on people like Prussia. Uh, the Poland. I don't know if I want to do that, although I wouldn't mind taking... I'm not powerful enough to go after Italy just yet, me don't think. I will build up in the meantime. I've just seen what's happened to India. That's a mess. Uh, and so is China. Oh, and it appears people are trying to break free from the UK. And to literally no one's surprise, Spain has turned into a freaking mess. Nice. Oh, I can do stuff. Such as open party membership. Oh, sure. Why not, eh? Boom. Let them all in. Let them all in. And I'm just increasing my stability now before I start going down the war path. Oh my god, what? I found so far that you have way too much political power. You just can't spend it all. It's it's impossible. Uh, so I, I don't know if I should just be trying to get coups in various places. Okay, Japan's declaring war on people. Wait, okay, it's still that guy. All right. Do you know what? I think I would like to march into the Alps. Yes. Yes, Switzerland belongs to... Well, no, no. Uh, we're just we're just installing the revolution, right? That's all we'll be doing. Yeah, just bringing the revolution to other people. And I like how the army has decided to still remain extremely competent. So this will be fine. This will be fine. I'm just going to send in Manstein. And we'll have a great time against, uh, you know, just getting chocolate for all. Getting chocolate for all. Bim, bam, boom, I'm coming for you. And no one's going to stop me. Bim, bam, boom, we're gonna conquer you. Boom, boom. That's, that's, that's the extent of my song. And apparently, I also haven't been building enough planes. Wow, that's my entire air force, is it? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well, in you go. Show them what for. Battle plan away! <laughs> well, that, that was pretty simple. Boom. We're expanding German Socialist Republic to, to Switzerland. That's fine. They all wanted to join me anyway, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Red imperialism. Me likey. And then I can break the French thread. The French are our arch nemeses. Especially now, after they've submitted to futurism. Ah, oh, how dare they. Bam. The Thresians and Dutch peoples do not speak German, but they are Germanic, and only through influence of the Christian Spaniards, not of part of Germany. We should correctify that. Should <laughs> um correctify? I'm sorry, Wilhelmina. I'm sorry, but this this probably has to happen. Don't worry, there'll be a place for you abroad. Just I, I might expel you. I might not. Who knows? But for now, we're we're coming on in, and we're taking. Whatever we want. Great, the rules thrift. Yep. We need an economy that can aid our soldiers, or we'll fall to the wrath of the imperialists. World Revolution, here we go. Du -du 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 -du. It's me. Yeah, boy. Not that guy. Alex. <laughs> oh, God. Hell. Oh, look at all those resources I get. Boom. Oh, the UK is guaranteeing Austria. They're led by Hilda, for gosh sakes. Um, so far, it seems quite easy to just map paint the world. Let's see how many divisions the old Frenchies have got. They have quite a number, but already my economy, the far superior socialist economy, will, will hopefully annihilate them. And look at that. Corporate management. Pfft, you don't want that. Did I lose my war goal against the French? Are oh, you freak? Oh, no. No, no, I've still got it. I still got it. To puppet them. Was I meant to puppet everyone? Oh. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, I guess I'll guess I'll puppet the French when I inevitably go. Ah. ah, they're going up quite high in the old uh, division count there. Let me just go plonk. And um, that's it. I am certain the French won't be able to fend off the might of Germany. 
At least I hope not. I am lacking certain uh, equipment currently, but it, I'm sure it's fine. I do. I would quite like to get rid of memory of the trenches because that is quite a pain. I wonder if I can get rid of that anywhere. It might be a while. Oh, okay. You can just glorify war, and that will do it for you. Hmm. I'm still trying to get strong enough to attack France without a problem. I think once I get rid of the old uh, memory of the trenches, that'll give me the manpower I need to declare war on. In fact, you know what? No, let's go ahead now. Let's go ahead now and just do it. Oh, they're going to topple Bulgaria? Is that what you're going to do, France? I beg to differ. I don't even... Oh my god, these focus trees are massive. They're freaking... They're big. Let's go. What do you have to say about that? Oh, they're naval invading me. They had those, like, set up for a long time, didn't they? Crumb diddly ums. Taken me quite some time to realise that Brazil is in my faction. I was not aware of that. Uh, battle planning isn't really working, so I'm going to stop doing that. And have a little snack. Today I'm eating a... Uh, a nut-based bar. Ooh, oh, no, whoa. Oh no, hopefully I can fix this before it's uh Ugh, this is bad. Um, at least they're attacking me now because they presume I'm weak. They still don't have a lot of factories, so surely they're going to run out of equipment soon unless they're getting Lenalise to heck. Might be time for a counter-attack. Let's go! I believe in you. Battle planning works, okay? Battle planning works, that's all you need. Oh, look, we're pushing towards Les Solil. Right, glorify war. Let's get rid of the debuffs we've been having and actually get some manpower. Because I'm all loot. Although the mod seems to be quite large, it's still kind of... Yeah, definitely in its early stages. Not a lot of other nations are going to uh, seem to be doing too much. Except for me. I'm just conquering as much as I can, really. Uh, the French will fall shortly. Got them hemmed in up here. Good. The uh, the conquest will be finished shortly. Except Italy gets to come in on the deal, which is a bit annoying. But I'm sure I'm sure that's fine. We can we can work it out with them, or I'll just conquer them too. I think it might be fun now to take on Austria. Um, I will be at war with the UK, I believe. Oh, and Italy. Maybe I won't do that. Maybe I'll just take out the UK. That sounds like it would work too. Yes. Bevor, the French kicked them out. England was ruled by Germans. We should introduce this state. Okay, that's that's reaching a little bit. <laughs> but we'll go for it. Okay, let's see if they decided to defend their ports. AI did not defend Dover. Okay, everyone goes in. And uh, I guess we just... Uh, <laughs> Conquer the UK? Good lord. It should not be this easy for me to conquer the UK, should it? I don't think it should, everyone who's watching at home or, or travelling or wherever you may be. It's a bit bonkers, to say the least. Oh, let's take Yogtown. Boom! The Yogg's cast is conquered. On to Birmingham. Not that anyone would want to conquer Birmingham, but I guess I'll do it anyway. Alrighty, I'm going after Poland. Bim bam boom. Let them all come to me. I'm calling in my allies. Uh, so, whenever I take out the major, then another major just crops up. So if I defeat Canada, then another major will probably just crop up in British Malaya. It just becomes a complete slog to defeat this allied block. So I'm just going after someone else instead. It's easier. And then... I guess our final target may well be Prussia. They're that little pitiful little band somehow still existing. How dare they? How dare they? Well, <laughs> it just becomes a pretty easy conquest at this point. That There's no nation that could really stop me. You know, it gets to that point when you play Hoi that you're just like, yeah, it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy, so it is. Especially when you have decently comprised medium tank divisions and the AI doesn't and you have aerial superiority and then it's pretty much game over. Like I enjoy a challenge but this this so far has been pretty easy. Even for someone that I've, you haven't been rating me very highly in the comments on the rumble video I, I would like to add but hey ho, hey ho. And then I'm probably going to take out Hilter. I'm pretty much just, a lot of the world is under my 
command. Yeah, the third international is pretty thick. We'll declare war, but I know that they're gonna. Yeah, Italy was gonna join that. Oh, has it crashed? I think the game has crashed. Which, for a mod in alpha, is pretty common. Uh, so, <laughs> but as you can see, it, it's becoming a bit of a steamroll for me. So, I imagine this crash will happen again and again. So, that's where I'm going to end it for the Red World mod. It's certainly got promise. And I will, might come back to it again. I think playing as Austria might be quite fun and interesting. Uh, who knows? But if you want to see more, of course, leave a like, comment and subscribe. But I'll be back with more content fairly soon. Titty bye! Many thanks to Onion Duck, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Ryan Koch, Cody Freeze, a second Wyatt Green, Name Name 1231, Aiden, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, Lo and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous round supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too. I swear one, 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 one month I'll get this without making a mistake. <laughs>